Welcome to Life is Dataful on LinkedIn Live. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Michael Walsh. I'm a senior writer in global content strategy at Publicis Sapien. This week, I'd like to talk to you about how the economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic has created a situation that will likely lead major banks to invest more in predictive liquidity management. It all starts with the economic impact of COVID-19. As you can tell from this chart, some sectors and regions were more vulnerable than others. Industries that rely on non-essential in-person contact were hit the hardest. Leisure and hospitality lost more jobs than any other industry, regardless of city. In Orlando, a true vacation destination, there was a 1.5% drop for financial services. Contrast that with a 30.5% drop for leisure and hospitality. But the virus utterly transformed the world last year. No industry entered 2021 in the same position it entered 2020. It was a hard year for finding a job. National economies contracted and jobs became scarcer. The rise in unemployment was particularly pronounced in the United States and Canada. Fear of contracting or transmitting the virus caused many people to stay home, resulting in loss of business in many cases. According to the International Monetary Fund, the global economy shrunk by 4.4% last year. That's the worst decline since the Great Depression back in the 1930s. The BBC reports that China was the only major economy to grow in 2020. It grew by 2.3%. Many people and businesses won't be able to pay their debts, and we all know that insolvency leads to loan defaults. How can industries stay afloat during such difficult times? Well, the International Data Corporation, or IDC for short, is a top provider of market intelligence services. Late last year, the IDC released a list of predictions for global corporate banking in 2021. They argued that liquidity will be a major priority for all customers in the near future, and that the demand for liquidity solutions is growing. In finance, liquidity generally means the ease with which an asset can be converted into cash without losing value along the way. Cash itself is obviously the most liquid asset available since it's already cash, but stocks are also relatively liquid. Property, however, which requires a tremendous amount of preparation and effort to sell and may result in a net loss when rushed or not handled properly, is considered illiquid. The IDC predicts that 65% of corporate banks will invest in supporting predictive liquidity management and 72 will upgrade data and connectivity capabilities by 2024. Because of COVID-19, chief financial officers are forced to focus on liquidity in a new way. Banks may need to step up and help their customers manage liquidity but they won't be able to do this if they rely on traditional sources of data. Historical data just isn't sufficient. Banks will need to invest in richer and deeper data and analytics for a greater view of their customers in general. As the IDC points out, banks need to move away from Excel sheets and start automating data consolidation for more reliable operations. Unfortunately, forecasting is all too often mostly a manual process for banks and other organizations. The authors of the IDC Futurescape report on corp corporate banking write, data is the lifeblood of predictive liquidity forecasting and risk adjusted scenario modeling. IT needs to prepare, extract, and provide timely, reliable, and continuous data streams to empower customers. Banks need to invest in better API capabilities and or upgrade to next generation host-to-host -host solutions to improve complexity, performance, and cost. Digital transformation partners provide a wide variety of digital solutions and accelerators that can help banks and other businesses get a 360 degree view, not only of their customers, but of their own organizations. They can do this by leveraging dynamic world-class data. Managing liquidity will be a priority this year, and embracing a dataful mindset will be the best way to do this. Thanks again for joining today's Life is Dataful live stream on LinkedIn Live. Please tune in next time to hear more about how data is affecting our lives. Thank you and take care.